What's up, ReapTube? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to be dealing with our favorite Aptasia anemones, glass anemones, pains in the butts. Um, here's a big one I have. It's the biggest one I've seen in my tank currently. It's on the back section of the rock. Um, it's huge. Try to give you guys a better view of it. All right, and moving on up, I got a tiny one right here at the top of the rock. Moving on up, I got one on the back glass above my GSP. Tiny little guy. Moving on over, I got one here where I removed a frag. Hope you can see him, he's also really tiny. I got one here at the front of this rock. Another one right in the middle of this Zoa frag. And I just noticed another one right here between these two Zoa frags as well. So they're all over the place. What are we gonna do about it? I have narrowed it down to four options. Number one, the copper band butterfly fish. Um, I would love one of these, but it's right now it's hard to find. Can't find one and they are expensive. And I guess they're really, really difficult to keep. Option two would be the Bergia Nudibranch. Um, these guys seem great, actually. The only issue that I have with them is apparently, from what I know, is that's all they eat is Aptasia anemones. And once I'm rid of them, I don't want them to starve and just create more nitrates in my tank. Option three, the Aptasia eating file fish. I used to have one of these guys. Their diet is a little tricky. I just don't want any more fish in my system. I don't want to feed more. I don't want algae to grow, so I don't want any more fish. Option number four would be the peppermint shrimp. This is what I would prefer to get, but in doing this video and doing more research, I found some contradictory information about peppermint shrimp. And when they eat the Aptasia, it almost irritates the Aptasia to where it releases the spores and multiplies. So. I think I'm going to have to get the file fish as well. But the main reason I wanted the shrimp is because it is easy to remove. In case I get the wrong kind or it starts eating my zoas, it's easily removed. And I did call my local reef shop. They do have both, so let's take a ride. All right, I'm back. Here's my shrimp, Gustav and Homer. And the file fish, we'll call him Spike. Okay, so I added the shrimp and the file fish in the tank and I honestly lost the shrimp as soon as I put them in the tank. I haven't seen them in four days. But in those four days, this file fish has pretty much got rid of all the Aptasia. This is one that's still in the Zoa. And this is one that's still on the back glass. Those are the only two that I see. Other than that, this uh, file fish really killed it. So I'm really happy I got him. Shouldn't have even gotten the shrimp. But oh well, they're an extra cleanup crew until I see them eat my Zoas, God forbid. Other than that, guys, should be good. I think we took care of the Aptasias. You can see where I'm gonna go back and show you exactly where those Aptasias were. They're all gone, other than those two that I showed you. But thank you, Spike, for taking care of this issue. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe, please like, please leave a comment if you feel it is right for you to do so. And catch you guys on the next one.